Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking at Jenner Weber, a French serial killer who strangled eight children, including her own child, and is nicknamed L'Ogresse de la Good Door, the district of Paris where she committed her crimes. She is also a tragic representation of the failures of a French legal system in the early 20th century. Weber was born Jenner Moulnet in Kerity, a small fishing village in southern France in the province of Brittany, on the 7th of October 1874. In 1884, at the age of 14, Weber left home for Paris and worked odd menial jobs until she got married in 1893 to Jeanne Weber, an alcoholic truck driver. The pair had three children, two of whom had died by 1905. She began drinking heavily and lived in a seedy apartment in Paris with her remaining son who was born in 1898. On the 2nd of March 1905, while babysitting for her sister-in-law who had two children, 18-month Georgette and two-year-old Suzanne, Georgette was killed by Weber who noted that Georgette suddenly fell ill and died. Bruises on Georgette's neck were ignored by the examining physician. On the 11th of March 1905, not knowing that Weber had killed her niece-in-law, she was invited back by her sister-in-law to look after her remaining child, two-year-old Suzanne, who Weber killed. The doctor blamed the second death on unexplained convulsions. Weber then babysat it for her brother. On the 25th of March 1905, looking after his seven-year-old daughter, Germaine, Weber choked Germaine, who survived. But Weber went back the next day on the 26th of March 1905 to kill Germaine. On the 30th of March 1905, Weber babysat for her brother once again and looked after her nephew Marcel, who she strangled to death. In both cases, despite the telltale marks of strangulation, diphtheria was blamed for both of the deaths. On the 2nd of April 1905, Weber strangled her only remaining son to death, with the death attributed to diphtheria. On the 5th of April 1905, Weber invited two of her sister-in-laws to dinner. Following dinner, Weber returned to take care of her 10-year-old nephew Maurice, while the other women went shopping. Weber proceeded to strangle Maurice in his beard before her sister-in-laws returned home prematurely to find Maurice gasping for air on his beard with his throat covered in bruises and Weber standing over him. Charges were filed and Weber's trial opened on the 29th of January 1906 with Weber found not guilty and acquitted on the 6th of February 1906. Following her acquittal, her husband abandoned her and neighbours hounded her. Weber then went under the pseudonym Madame Mouliette and ended up in Villiers-Dour, where her old habits died hard. On the 7th of April 1907, she was babysitting and nine-year-old Auguste Bavouzette was found dead with his throat badly bruised. The cause of a death was listed as convulsions, but later determined to be strangulation. On the 4th of May 1907, Madame Mouillette was arrested and identified as Weber. Held over her trial, a second autopsy found that Bavelzette had died of typhoid and Weber was released in December 1907. Weber then began working at a children's hospital in Falkenbalt and ended up working at the children's hospital in Augreville working under the name marie Lemonnière. Weber was found by the owners of a children's hospital in Augreville, attempting to strangle a child and was properly dismissed with the incident covered up. Returning to Paris, Weber was arrested for vagrancy and, having declared her guilt, was confined to an asylum in Nanterre in the west of Paris. However, she was subsequently declared sane and released. Weber then turned to prostitution, became a mistress, and ran away with railway worker Olier Boucheret, with the couple taking a room at the inn in Commerce in northeastern France on the 8th of May 1908. The inn was run by the Perrault family, and Weber began to help Madame Perrault with the chores. Complaining that Boucheret was beating her, who she claimed to be her husband, 
were there asked Peru if their ten-year-old son, Marcel Perot, could sleep between them to avoid further violence and abuse, which the Perots agreed to. Weber was then found attempting to strangle ten-year-old Marcel Parot with a bloody handkerchief, with the entire house awoken by Marcel's screams. The father punched Weber three times before releasing Parot, who was dead. Going to trial, Weber was declared not guilty by reason of insanity on the 25th of October 1908, having strangled eight children, but she is suspected of murdering as many as twenty children. She was then sent to an asylum in marie near Nancy, in northeastern France. Ten years later, on the 5th of July 1918, Weber committed suicide, ironically through self-strangulation, with her hands gripped around her throat and nails piercing her skin in a death look. This was exactly the same method that she had used to kill her innocent victims. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.